first on looking good, feeling great, yoga, the ancient Eastern practice that meshes physical exercise with spiritual discipline. It's hot these days, and we don't mean hot like popular trendy hot, we mean literally hot, like 110 degrees hot. Mary Savillo has that story. Arms up, and twist, tuck the chin in, go down. It's spring outside, but a wilting 110 degrees in this New York yoga studio, and that's before you build up a sweat. No, the heating hasn't gone haywire. This is hot yoga, or Bikram yoga, after Bikram Chaduri, the East Indian, who incorporated Bombay temperatures into the brand of yoga he first popularized in Beverly Hills. I don't know if I'll be able to finish the class. <laughs> and she's a Broadway dancer. But it is her first class, and studio owner Donna Rubin says students acclimate. A dancer herself, seven months ago, Rubin opened this, the first official Bikram studio in New York's theater district, because she figured hot yoga would catch on quickly here. 26 yoga poses, 90-minute classes in 100-plus degree heat has equaled success so far. You know, when you're in a heated environment, your muscles can move easier. You can get deeper into the postures. Also, uh, it's good for detoxification as well. You're sweating a lot, so you're really getting rid of a lot of toxins in the body. In this class, we do the warming up for you. <laughs> so you can start at the beginning of the class and your body's already, you know, getting warmed up. And then you can go the hour and a half getting the full benefits, really. Hot yoga classes run from 10 to $17 a class, but Rubin says they can save clients in medical bills. People with high blood pressure, people with thyroid problems, people with arthritis problems, people with any obvious injuries, like if you have an injury like your knee or your back is hurting you, that is like no problem. I mean, that you'll take care of no problem. But not everybody's convinced that hot yoga is such a hot idea. Some have medical concerns. Others are concerned that Bikram's marketing and cure-all claims run counter to the spiritual nature of yoga. Deep breaths. Find your edge. Don't push yourself. Across town at the Yoga Zone, a studio that maintains normal temperatures, Exhale. instructors say boosting the external heat is unnecessary since you build up a sweat with exercise like this. Exhale. Indeed, they say high heat could result in injury. If you had too much external heat, you might pull a muscle and you wouldn't feel it at the time. Um, you'd probably feel it the next day and maybe thereafter. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah. It should be just as dark. And it's, and it's not, which means Dr. Gerard Berlotta is a sports medicine specialist at the New York University School of Medicine. He says he sees more potential for harm than good with hot yoga. People with heart conditions, people with diabetes, other medical problems should be very, very cautious about performing exercises in 110 degree heat. Well, I'm a walking testament for heart conditions. 46-year-old heart patient Mark Fairchild has been practicing hot yoga about a year now, and he says the improvement in his health made his doctor a believer. Well, if, when I first found out about my condition, uh, you know, I, you know, they do the EKG and check your uh, vital signs, yeah. and then I went back. And he couldn't believe how much my blood pressure had gone down, my cholesterol level had gone down. He couldn't believe it. Still, even Rubin admits hot yoga may not be for everybody. Sometimes people, you know, are close to passing out. You know, they're feeling dizzy. But that, it just takes, it takes a little bit of time until your body gets used to it. Rubin recommends that all her students get a doctor's approval before taking a class. On that, everyone agrees. If you have a health problem or if hot yoga leaves you cold, old-fashioned yoga or room temperature yoga, as it may one day be called, provides many benefits as well. It improves muscle tone, strength, and flexibility. It also relieves stress, stimulates circulation, and boosts the immune system. And yoga is a low-impact exercise, so it can be done safely by women of any age.